I am Xiao Zhang, a digital reporter at the Xinhua News Agency and the world's first digital taikonaut. When it comes to a space station, one of the most important technologies is rendezvous and docking. China is the third country in the world to master the technology independently after the United States and Russia. After Shenzhou 12 spaceship left the core module Tianhe, Tiangong space station began to transform through a series of dockings. First, Tianzhou 2 cargo spacecraft maneuvered from one end of the core module to the other end, the node, for docking. Then, the newly launched Tianzhou 3 docked where the Tianzhou 2 was originally staying. Finally, Shenzhou 13 crewed spaceship docked radially with the node. Tiangong Space Station eventually transformed from a straight line to a T-shape. Through the rendezvous and docking technology, Tiangong Space Station will provide people the room for the imagination. Rendezvous and docking is the only way to connect the space station with other spacecraft. Manned space transportation, space extravehicular activity and space docking are called the three cornerstones of the manned space flight. In 1966, Gemini 8 spacecraft docked with the Agena target vehicle, the first ever rendezvous and docking in space in human history. For years, the rendezvous and docking technology has been applied to send astronauts to the space station. The early type of space station is monolithic station. The largest one is Skylab. Its weight is 90 tons and its volume is 354 cubic meters. Due to the limited space in the monolithic station, it is difficult for astronauts to live in space for a long time. It is also impossible to carry out more complex and diverse activities. Since payload were limited by insufficient rocket thrust, human beings could not send larger objects into space at that time. In February 1986, the Soviet Union used the Proton rocket to launch the core module of the Mir space station into Earth orbit. It has a total length of 13.13 meters. Its weight is 20.4 tons, plus six docking ports. In 1987, the KVANT-1 experimental module docked with the core module of the Mir, starting the lengthy process of the Mir construction. In April 1996, a total of five modules docked with the Mir. It has a docking module tailored for docking with the U.S. Space Shuttle. The whole Mir space station has a total length of 32.9 meters. Its volume is about 400 cubic meters and its weight is about 137 tons. Human beings learned how to assemble super-large spacecraft through docking ports with limited thrust of the rocket engines. The International Space Station, ISS, has fully taken advantage of this method. The ISS currently has more than 30 modules in total. The most important structure of the ISS is the truss, which has a length of over 100 meters. It is used to install solar panels, mechanical arms, etc. Perpendicular to the truss, there is a series of habitation modules. That the docking and expansion of the ISS is different. When it comes to the Russian modules, each module has a special docking section, which is a sphere with multiple docking ports. There are usually no astronauts living and working in these spaces. U.S. modules dock with the cylindrical node which has docking ports. An airlock module was built to meet the needs of pressure changes when astronauts exit the module. In order to connect the Russian and American modules, a special adapter was built. All of these were completed through 32 launches within 23 years. Tiangong Space Station is similar to the Russian part of the ISS. 
On one side of the core module, there is a sphere node specially used for docking. The node has five docking ports and is also the entrance and exit for Taikonauts to carry out spacewalk. At the design stage, the chief designer of China's manned space program once said, Tiangong Space Station can be further expanded and more modules can be docked, based on the needs of space scientific research and application. As a large spacecraft with a designed lifespan of 10 years, Tiangong Space Station may become the only long-term residence facility for human beings in space. Through in-depth international cooperation, there are also more diverse and complex docking possibilities. I am Xiaojiang, a digital reporter at the Xinhua News Agency and the world's first digital taikonaut.